Ooh, it's your boy Ryan and welcome back to the channel for another episode of The Sims 4 Disney. Subscribe to me. I'm poor. Enjoy. So she had the urge to ask um, Mr. Steve. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She had the urge to ask the doubt if out on a cute little date. Um, and this is a lot of work to get to where they're going. I'm just going to say that. She is dating Steve Rogers, but she wanted to date Dalliance. And so she's, she's just taking him out to this bar. Um, and we're going to see what happens. I feel like there should be an easier way. If someone else crawls through her, I swear to you. You know what? Maybe this is too much. Maybe this is too much to ask for them to have a seat. I thought there was just a door entrance, but apparently there's not. It's my fault. I move my camera face cam thing so it's in the corner so you can't see the date gold. But look, when I do this, you'll be able to see it. That way you know I'm not lying when these little crazy things come up. Perfect. So we're going to tell a joke with Mr. Dow Dow. We're just going to try to see how we feel about him. Again, so this is the seven dwarf that replaced Sneezy. One of the seven dwarves that replaced Sneezy. Because Sneezy is not really anything that we can use in The Sims. And so I replaced Sneezy with Flirty. And I named him Dalliance Little. All the dwarves' last name is Little because dwarf is not a last name. So T is T. Alright. Let's kind of flirt with him some... Okay, he's joking because I thought he was being sassy, in which case I was going to say you can take that on somewhere else, babes, because we're not going to sit here and just let you sass us, boy. Well, I guess everything is going kind of well on their date considering she put the lips on them, so that's really cool and nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, let's just go ahead and end this. We have gold already. We're not going to try to do anything more. I do see Pocahontas here. I've wanted to meet Pocahontas since I put her in the game. So let's go, let's go meet her see what she's all about. Dalliance, leave me be. Release me from this conversation, boy. Release me from the conversation. I'm trying to make a new best friend. I'm not sure what this music is, but it fits the vibe. And I quite like that. Let's compliment Pocahontas' outfit. She's real cute, she's real nice, let's brighten her day. Okay, then we're going to flatter her. We won't fish for compliments just yet. We're just going to leave a good impression on her. We're going to do an impression. And I think that should be probably enough for now. These rats in this apartment kept her up all night. I had to cheat her sleep so she could get some kind of sleep. So we're going to have to meet with Cinderella and hatch some kind of plan because we cannot stay in this rat infested apartment. Cinderella, oh, thank you so much for agreeing to come get a Bobo with me. So there's just a few concerns that I have about your future parenting style and how that might affect your son or daughter. It just appears to me that you come from a lot of money. And listen, so does my brother Farmer. And I don't want to say that he's going to end up like Cusco, just selfish and self-centered and thinking of no one but himself. But look at it. He just threw me and his brother out of the house with no remorse. He doesn't care. And look at what money did to your stepmother turned her evil and she raised two monsters to spend their entire life torturing you. I would hate for my future niece or nephew to suffer the same fate. Sparrow is a mind twister. She twists people's mind. Cinderella's like, oh my gosh. And the house that we're living in is kind of fancy too. We should probably find somewhere else to live, right? Sparrow's like, I didn't say that, but please take all the toddler furniture with you when you go. Oh, is Ursula wearing clothes for the first time? Oh, what a shop to see. Oh, Cinderella, thank you so much just for stopping and hearing me out. I have to run, but it was nice to chat. Cinderella's like, oh my gosh, do you want to fill the baby before you go? No, thank you, I'm not interested, but I'll catch up with you soon. Thanks, love, bye. Mimlet? Okay, all right, Cinderella, shut up. So we are here meeting a Tiana and Nagveen. Tiana is not out, so Cinderella's just gonna do her do and wake her the frick up so she can participate in some conversation. Oh, Tiana was upset about that. I don't know if y'all saw her when she woke up, but she was like, why and who is this woman? What is she talking to me about? Why is she in my home? So Tiana Maldon of Maldonia and her husband Nagveen are the uh, leaders of a club it's called uh, the evangelines and it's just these married couples who just kind of wanted to have a group that they can hang out with and go through marriage with together and um, now that 
farmer oh, is married. He's trying to get all the daggone little perks. He's trying to get anything he can get. And Cinderella's looking up here, is sitting up here looking pretty and pregnant. So he's like, this is the perfect opportunity. I forgot, they were actually neighbors while Cinderella was uh, being a house slave. Um, they, they were neighbors. So T Tiana's probably like, oh, so he made it out. He made it out alive. I'm really happy to see it. The Emancipation Proclamation is still making waves today. It's a little bit too early. But I still wonder if he can at least apply to the Evangelines and see like what she says. Congratulations, Farmer was accepted. Beautiful. Well, now Cinderella needs to do her application as well. Is she in too? Yay, they both made it. See, I was like, I don't really care at this point. I, I don't care who's here and who's not. So let's see who else is in this club. So we have Tiana and Naveen, we have Adam and Belle, we have Minnie and Mickey, and then the, the two of the the two of them. I don't know why I can't speak the two of them. That's so cool. I'm very happy for them. I'm happy that they can make friends. Tiana is saying, you know, when Ed someone joins the group, we do like for them to host us to meet and greet at their home so we can kind of get um, everyone acquainted with each other and kind of get to know more about the person. So that's, uh, that's fun. A creepy pastoy. Double... The farmer doesn't seem to be taking the idea that she wants to move into a different house, one with more struggle. He's not really feeling that kind of that kind of thought. I'm weak. Archer kind of just like ran over her in the argument that they had. He won, but he wasn't listening to her side of things at all. And from her history, from her experience. I don't think that that's going to sit well with her. I don't think it is. But we're, we're going to leave it here. We're going to leave it here. We're going to table this discussion. The Hermes Festival is happening just um, a neighborhood over in San Machino. I think Sparrow did want to take Archer out to the Hermes Festival just so they can get outside. But Archer, he just had a whole little meltdown and was like, I'd rather stay inside. You know, who's noisy? It might not be sti- Oh, What? Who's in there? Nuh uh. No, not down the door. Pound on the door and see what he says. They wanted to have, she wanted to spend some time with Archer uh, because he, he had a whole meltdown about being around people he didn't know. And so, but now apparently Steve is knocking boots with somebody next door and we're not sure what the issue is. Who is in there with you? Steven! What? I'm sorry, you're right. That was a bit inconsiderate. A bit inconsiderate? You are in a relationship with her. Uh-uh. What is this? Why does she have body hair? She said, listen, let me let you know what you're missing out on. Don't you pull this again. I don't trust him. But I also don't want him to move into the home. But also at the same time, I don't trust him because that was just rude. You know, I feel like Steve Rogers is gaslighting her. Because look at this. Apologize. She has the option to apologize to him in bed. Well, why? What? What? Why does there need to be apology? He's the one knocking boots at somebody else in his apartment when they are in a relationship. And she made sure that they came back to his apartment to do what they're doing right now so she could see who's in here. But it looks like whoever the hussy is maybe opened up one of these windows and slipped out. Because this place is as empty as the day it was when he bought it. He's not treating you right, Sparrow. He's not. I don't, I don't, I don't like this. I need you to love yourself, babe. <laughs> I feel like Sparrow's crying because of what she's thinking about Steve. That's what I, that's what my interpretation of that tear was for. Stephen Timothy Jamal Rogers is not who he presented himself to be within the MCU. Outside of that universe, he's a gaslighter, he's a cheater, he's not to be trusted, and um, honestly, we don't want it. We don't want it at all. I said it once and I'll say it again, I need my baby girl to stand up. Thank you again for watching. Go and be great, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace. This is like a, this is like a, fing a finger gun peace sign. So it's promoting peace and violence.